Hello Butterfield fans, Wildtail here, welcome to this. This is a very special video because uh, we're gonna be aggressive. I know, I always, if you watch my, my videos and my tactics and strategies and everything, it's more about uh, being defensive. You know, I have uh, posted many, many ideas and, and videos and tactics and, and stuff like that uh, involving, you know, how to be a defensive player. You know, I try to like, help people just to be defensive because people don't like to, to defend flags, you know, and, and it's very simple to, to defend or to be a defensive player, which is well something that I like to do. But there's the, there's certain gameplays where you cannot be defensive and you need to be aggressive. So we need to we need to know these things. How to be aggressive, how to be defensive and when when to apply these uh, different strategies you know in, in your gameplay. So lucky me I knew that the enemy team uh, was going to be a, a tough one, you know, and by the way, I want to give a shout out to all those guys on the enemy team because they played Amazing honestly, I, I, I enjoy playing with these guys. They were like going after the objective It's not one of those like, easy teams that you can beat, you know, in no time. So kudos to those guys. So anyways, um I joined the, the previous game against these guys obviously and and I knew that we, we needed to win we won the game the previous game obviously, uh, of course and and I knew for the next game you know how you play two rounds on each map uh, I knew that we needed to be aggressive and if you look closely throughout the whole you know video uh, at some point we were we were losing we were losing by like 30 points or like 30 tickets uh, and we were losing so I needed to be aggressive you know I needed to be aggressive and aggressive when it comes to flags so uh, when I share my uh, defensive strategy I told you you know focused on on, on the B and A flag on this map because it's, it's always you know it's, it's a little bit easier uh, I did the same thing over here although I, at some point you know I just went for C and things like that but for the most part and and what everything is going to concentrate you know and in, in, in most of your games when you play in this map or any map you know is that B flag you know that B flag is just a pain you know to to get it's a, it's a pain to, to defend you know it also depends on how well your squad mates and teammates are playing because if they're not paying attention if they're just you know focus on other things it's gonna be a lot harder for you to to defend those flags so um, we're gonna focus once again on the A and B flag I just I think is I think it's a lot better you have a lot covered this is to me it's a lot easier just to to move in that transition between A and, 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 and B you could say B and C are closer, and and you're right if you say you know that, if you say that. But the problem that I have with that is that if you go from B and A, you need to cross a street, and that will make you, my friend, an easy target. I mean, you can. I'm not saying that it's every time, but I try to avoid that because the spawns in this game sometimes kind of crazy, so they're gonna see you crossing the street. So I like to keep myself, you know, stealthy and, and behind cover, and you know, just try to avoid you know being too obvious to the enemy. So for me, B and A. Are just perfect you know for what I do so it's perfect for being a defensive player and also perfect for being an aggressive player so we're gonna be going after flags over here there's no time to rest we have the urgency not to go to the bathroom but to win this game to capture these flags and just to and just to just to come back you know from, from the 30 tickets that, that we that we were like you know behind so it was very interesting and, and I like it so um, <clears throat> over here once again I got my friend the um, uh, the shotgun. I had a nice session with the shotgun. Uh, it was uh, very interesting. So it was, it was very cool. Uh, to me, it's the perfect gun for being aggressive. You know, if if you're now in, in in a game where you need to just rush a lot, okay, where you need to just go after flags. You know, if it's a TDM, it'll be a different story. You know, this and that. But when it's a domination and, and you know that you're up against a really good team and you're up against like guys who are gonna be in the flag and more than one, and you need you need to get those kills quick and move on to capture the other flag. You know, that, that that's, that's that's what happened in this game. But you capture one flag and you had no chance to go ahead and get the other one. And and then you're going to finish how you go back to the other one again so I was going back and forth between A and B crazy you know trying to get those flags blue trying just to to flush the enemy out of the, the B flag and try to keep everything blue as much as we, we, we could you know in order to, to come back into this gameplay so I think it's very interesting uh, knowing how to play uh, aggressive uh, with that being said, um, I died quite a few times by claymores because I was rushing too much. It wasn't maybe paying attention, um, but you know that's part of the game. You know when you rush too much, uh, you tend to miss some things. 
you tend to miss that guy who's prone in a rock. You know, you tend to miss a a um, a claymore. It's something. You know, we always we always miss something when we're rushing because we we are so focused on, on what we're doing. You know, in my case, just going to the next flag, and it's gonna get you killed. I use claymores as well, so I don't really get mad about it. You know, it's just part of the game, and that's what it is. Uh, it's not it's not a big deal. But I just wanted to point that out. You know, it's just uh, be careful with the claymores if you're rushing too much, just like I was doing in this gameplay. But for the most part, it was uh, it's a very very interesting. You know, very interesting. Um, um, and, and it, it's proof, like once again, that when you play with, with strategy, with, with an idea, it, it's always good. It's always good because you know what to do. Like you have your plan. You know, obviously, it's go for the flags. But once you have your plan, man, everything just falls like into the into the right like the right pieces. You know, it's like a, it's like a, it's like it's like the playing chess or something. You know, everything just like comes like so nice and, and easy. You know, and um, if you're looking to get kills. Uh, when you play the objective, that's that's the best place where you're gonna get your kills. You know, a lot of people have this misconception about, well, I'm just gonna stay far away and try to kill the guys who, you know, that that doesn't work that much. You know, it doesn't work in battlefield. Battlefield is different from from other games. So if you want to get the kills, you need to be at the objective. I mean, unless you're playing TDM, which is different, obviously. But in a domination. If you go after the B flag, that's when you're gonna get all the kills, and that's when I got most of my kills. Just defending these flags, just going back and forth between these two flags. So, being aggressive is just as important as being defensive. Once again, there's gameplays where it's going to require you to be defensive, and you know you need to know those things, you know. And, but once again, we can we can flip the same strategy over here. You know, I, I just flip the same thing that I do when I'm being defensive. You know, uh, I don't really focus that much on the C flag, but if 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 you Keep in mind that you know, depending to flags is easier than three. You know, it's gonna make your job a lot easier in the long run. Okay, going back and forth between between flags and and it's gonna be so, so much easier. So I think you know we'll be aggressive, but also now that I see maybe it's a good combination between being aggressive and defensive, as we were also defending the flags that that we captured. So it was just like back and forth, but you have no time to, to relax. You have no time to to rest, to to take a break, just to do some. No, there was no time for that. Otherwise, the enemy would have won the game. So I just love when I when I play with people like that. You know, it just makes the gameplays uh, so much fun. I'm pretty sure it's really entertaining to watch as well. You know, me being you know really aggressive instead of being defensive. Uh, but it's really cool to play against people like this because they really push your your skills uh, to the limit. You know, regardless of the rank, uh, to the limit. You know, they were going a bunch of these enemy guys after flag. It's not only one or two. You know, they were like four or five at some points going after flags, and uh, you know, it's so difficult to defend. You know, against all of them. So uh, it was very interesting. Like I said, it's very cool, and and we need to know how to play aggressive. We need to know how to be aggressive. You know, and maybe when to stop and switch to to being defensive, or the other way around. When you when you need to be defensive and maybe switch to being aggressive in order to to win those games. So that's a very important thing to do here. You know, when when you play video games. And I know that I sound like oh, it's so complicated. Play video games. You sound so complicated. Just capturing a flag. It may sound complicated, but it's not. It's just easier, you know. It's just an easy thing. Being aggressive, you just rush through. You know, being defensive, you just like watch those flags. You know, it's just very, it maybe sounds like I said complicated, but it's not. And so it's very, very simple to do. But people don't do it. See, people don't do it. Some, some, some players they, they tend to. Well, I capture the flag, so I don't need to worry about it. You know, it's it, it's blue, so it's all good. Well, no, man, that's half the job. <laughs> you have you need to defend it. You know, in order to win games. Um, there's some times where maybe you have a huge advantage. You know, on the enemy when it comes to tickets, and maybe you want to get some kills. So sometimes I've seen this. I don't like doing this, but I've seen uh, people doing this before. Where they allow the enemy to capture some flags, and they catch up on points, so that like extends, you know, the the length of the game. So you could have finished the game, let's say, in 10 minutes, but if you let the enemy catch up on points a little bit, uh, you know, you ended up playing for like 15, 20 minutes, you know, uh, depending how much you, you let the enemy, um, you know, get closer to you, you know, tickets-wise. But for me, I just like to finish this game as quick as possible. You know, regardless the amount of kills, it's it's always to finish the game as quick as possible. And and this game was just like crazy, <laughs> you know. It was going, it was going, it was going good. It was going good, and it makes you feel good at the end. You know, when you when you win the game, because you you all your hard work is like wow, paid off. It's like wow, all, all I did it was just great. I think I got like two thousand 
points difference between first and second place. You know, it's all about the points. It's all about you know uh, doing doing the right thing. And and to me, it's it's fun to win games. You know, to me, it's fun being aggressive. To me, it's fun being defensive. You know, whatever, whatever, like the way that I see it is whatever needs to be done in order to win games. You know, and I'll do it. You know, if it, if I need to watch these two flags, you know, I'll watch them, you know, if I need to be aggressive and just go after, I'll just go, if I need to be defensive, you know, because sometimes what happens is, and I talked about this in, in previous videos, and, and, and even when I have my other channel, um, about this silent communication, you know, and for me, the silent communication, obviously you're not communicating because it's silent, um, is when, for example, you see that your teammate captured a flag and he forgets about it. So, if you notice these things, okay, your job or, or the right thing to do will be for you to defend it. And this is this is one thing that I do. You know, I see these guys, they capture a flag, they just leave. I mean, not in this game, but they just leave. No one's watching it. You know, enemy comes really quick over here, flank you, and they capture again, and then, you know, no one bothers to come back. So, the silent communication is to be aware of what is going on with the game. You know, so if you're recapturing a flag or something, your squad is going to spawn on you. You know, they see you at the flag, they're going to spawn on you, and that's great. You got more people in that area. Plus, you got your other teammates, let's say, on the other flag or on the other area of, of the map. So, all of, the, all of a sudden, you guys, like, all your teams, like, like, all over the place. So, no matter where the enemy is trying to go or trying to do, there's going to be any, any of you, of your teammates, you know. Uh, right there in order to kill them to defend the flag to recapture so that really frustrates the enemy and just makes up for like a really good gameplay you know in my opinion so as long as I mean if you play the objective it's all good you know that's when you're gonna get the kills you're gonna have so much fun and uh, I think that's that's great you know <laughs> to me to me it's just great so I really like this game you know I really like the fact that we have to we have to fight for it that it wasn't easy you know I have posted uh, videos where uh, we just won in a very easy way. There's a bunch of snipers or something like that, and it's so it's like it's so easy, you know. It's just like oh man, this was like a piece of cake game, but not this one. This one was different. This one is it's just interesting, you know. Interesting having an enemy who wants to play the objective, you know. And sometimes it's it's quite surprising, and sometimes people don't know what to do. You know, and they just rage about everything and anything. Oh, you know, because people are not prepared sometimes for, for a team who, who wants to win games just because they're so used to that. You know, it's a bunch of snipers, and especially this map, you know, people like to go in these buildings and just camp out and, and, and you know, uh, whatever they want to do, that's fine. I can the flags. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's, it's good to, or if you get into one of those lobbies where they just decide to snipe a lot, then you have to do two flags, and then if you just want to go for kills go ahead but always focus on those two flags once again B and A it's a lot easier it's a lot cover it's a lot um, it's a lot easier when it comes to, to spawns the spawns in this in this map can be crazy and um, I don't know to me A, a and, and B is just uh, perfect you know perfect for uh, defending perfect for attacking uh, perfect for avoiding being spotted by the enemy um, for everything you know to me it's just good and this is what I like to do and most of my gameplay so A and B is just really good so like at this point we're just um, we're just doing good uh, you know points wise uh, as always I'm just trying to get the flag over here once again and uh, just so we can get um, you know, more advantage over the enemy but once again it's just this B flag over here you know uh, it, it's all good and any weapon will do the job you know if you like shotguns go ahead if you like LMGs I use whatever you know like I said I have a nice session with a shotgun it's all good you just need a gun that makes you feel confident that you can kill more than one guy with it, you know, because the like you see in this gameplay, sometimes you get like, like, gang they gang up on you, man. <laughs> it's like three or four guys, so you need something that kills quick, something that's fast, something that gets you uh, going, and uh, go ahead, capture the next flag, and so on. So it was very interesting. So I really like the M1014. It's awesome. So this is my weapon of choice for for this gameplay. So nothing crazy, but it was all about the objective, and I like that. You know that little comeback and that little uh, urgency of uh, you know having to go really hard on the enemy and just go and capture flags back and forth. So to me, that's awesome. Anyways, thank you for watching. My name is Wild Child. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay, this commentary. And as always, if you haven't, please check out my channel, other videos. Check out the Witcher 3 playthrough with live commentary, Batman Arkham Knight, more Battlefield 4 or Destiny, all right on my channel. And I'll see you, my friend, on the next video. All right, later.